Hello everyone, my name is Lanso90 and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. Everyone's busy mining and gathering plants and all sorts of things. I think the day-night cycle is a little bit too fast in this game now. They don't get much done. By the time she finishes that research on genetic picks, that's going to be done. That person is done with the harvesting now. Cook again. Damn it. Left one square. I really hate that. <laughs> Oh, maybe this person's gonna go get it. Let's see. Gonna go do it, dude. Hell yes, he did it. Okay. Before I start mining these bedrooms out, I'm going to make sure she finishes uh, the research. to dump all this stuff. While we wait for her to finish that research, we'll have them just not build anything and not mine anything, just uh, clean up and put things in stockpiles. One person is going to be idle all the time because he can't do that work, but it's Martin, I think. You could actually cut plants. That kind of makes sense. With that in mind, yeah, these things are always ready to harvest. Food is not going to be an issue. It's kind of strange. 
that this map started with so much food. Oh gosh, what happened? A group from Hamlet at the stream are visiting the colony. Maybe I need a certain building to interact with people. Column station is for spaceships. See anything other than spaceship communication? Other than maybe talking to them manually with a person, but The heck? Game just randomly minimized for no apparent reason. Uh, actually, I can't have him. He's just going to have to have nothing to do for a while. Problem is, he's cutting stuff down, and then the other people are hauling it. But I need them to go haul other stuff. He's just going to... Idle around, I guess. Yes, thank you. Stone cutting would be kind of cool. We'll do gun turret cooling next. But, uh... That was the only important thing to get done, so I think I'm going to turn her off of research, cleaning, hauling. If art doesn't do anything, I'm just going to turn it off just so it's not distracting me visually. Right now, crafting isn't very important. Let's turn it off. Then we have mining and growing and stuff. Should be fine. We'll just haul and haul everything and then clean for a while. What are these people doing? I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do with them. I don't know, are they just... Tastes like a... Are they just like happier now or something? Uh, 
I don't know. She's grabbing food from extremely far away now, so I'm gonna turn her power off after she makes that. All things, clean things. We have the picks now, I guess. Still, I'd kind of like them to start cleaning. Get everything put where I want it put. Do you grab some scrap metal? Okay. Uh oh. A group of pirates from the fearful crew have arrived in a drop pod nearby. They'll prepare for a while and then attack. Three of them. Frag grenades. Shit. Frag grenades. Molotov cocktails. Okay, we're fucked. This might be game over right here, guys. Explosive weapons are. Ridiculously overpowered. Ridiculously overpowered. Make sure no one's grabbing this stuff. Otherwise, we're gonna get shot in the face. Okay. No, where are you going now? That's even worse. Don't do that. I'm gonna get shot in the face. Don't do that either. Not as bad, but still, I don't want you. Need you near the base right now. There you go. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go out there and manually fight them. It is not exactly an easy thing to do. Doesn't help that our gun turrets are not going to have power, but explosives are freaking terrible because, of course, they have splash damage, but they f up turrets is what they really do. They pretty much one shot kill people as well. Just really, really awful. So what we have to do is we have to manually outmaneuver the explosives. Luckily, they have no guns. They also have explosives, so it's not too terrible. Let's 
just have to... Run away! Run away, run away, run away! <laughs> that would auto-destroy buildings, it would auto-destroy sandbags, it would auto-destroy our people. They are just a, uh, not a good time. These guys are running away, fleeing in panic. It has armor. Who doesn't have body armor? She doesn't. She does. She doesn't. I think I'll get. Okay. Everyone undraft. I think those guys are going to go away permanently. They might, might not be, but I think they are. Uh, I don't need the turrets on now. Let's see. And now I can reselect that stuff to be picked up again. That's the last of it. Yep, they went away. Good for them. The wildfires. Oh. Actually hit our wall. Luckily it's raining, so the rain puts it back out, but sometimes you get dry storms and then the rain doesn't put out the fires. It's really bad. Looks like we got everything that person dropped, which is good. Should see grenades in like this pile somewhere. I don't. Oh, there they are. No one is just picking them up, is all. Because they have a case of the, the dumbs. Oh yeah, they do things in order of, like, the last thing you did. You know, it kind of makes sense, it kind of doesn't. It's really give and take. A give and take situation as far as the game design choice goes. Like on one hand, it allows you to uh, get something done in an emergency situation, because they'll do whatever you did last, or whatever you did first, or no, whatever you did last. 
On the other hand, it means stuff that you set to get done hours ago never gets done. It's problematic. Person is still only wearing a shirt, but I don't think I can help them any. All I have is an extra button down shirt. Need to kill some more people. Not exactly sure how much bulletproof vest helps us out here. Or the duster. Not exactly sure. But wait, here we go. Damage absorption 18% minus 12% boot speed. So it slows you down. So we can select him. Let's go find Orion again. There she is. 2% damage absorption. But no movement penalty. I think it's best they have damage absorption no matter how slow it makes them. <laughs> Wish you could clean Martin. Like, kind of being wasteful right now. At least they're not dwarves, like from Dwarf Fortress. I think they get upset if you don't have them do anything for long enough. Look at this, our, uh, our steam generator isn't quite enough power anymore on its own. Batteries are being drained now. Mostly from too many lights, I'm sure. Or, yeah, too many lights at this point. Here. Okay. Grabbing stuff from super far away, it's not really efficient, but just don't want to be, don't want that stuff just laying around anymore. I want it in my stats of stuff that I have. We're almost done. They also still need to clean. <laughs> Ugh, it takes so long just to get basic stuff done. Once you have enough people, you can have someone set to be a full-time hauler. You have another person set to be a full-time cleaner. Things like that. It helps a lot. Crap, they're eating. They're eating raw food right now. Or meals. It said Martin to cook. It's not as good as this other person, but until this other person reaches like a really high level, they're not really all that useful. They're almost to level seven, which is what they need. But so then I'm just gonna have Martin do it because the other person can actually haul and do the useful things. Might be slower at it, but speed isn't really of the essence when it comes to cooking. Hey, they're finally starting to clean. That's a good sign. Going to set Orion now. Do plant cutting. Oh crap! It's going to cause them to do the hauling stuff again. Whatever. We need need to get a little bit more food into the reserve again. possible that uh, Martin cooking actually like wastes waste food resources. Oh damn it, he's taken from here. I really don't like that.
turn food off in there for now. I want I do want them to put food in there eventually, I think. But... Yeah, like I said, there's usually not this much, like, bushes and stuff around. It's pretty amazing, actually. Must have got really lucky, or I just picked a really smart location. I mean, I picked mountains. I didn't think mountains would have much food. I picked it because I wanted stuff to dig into. As it is, this is like way more food than I could produce with a farm. Well, not exactly, but it's a lot. Clean stuff, please. She went all the way around to clean one square. I hate that. I guess I should just make a path for now. Should have done this a long time ago, really, but... I don't want to, but... There's already a way in through the metal, so... More isn't going to hurt. Except they're still going to do it slowly and stupidly. Clean things up so you won't be as unhappy. I don't think this message bot is learning correctly. Crap, now it's reset. I'll just turn it off. I might miss something important, but I don't think so. About laws from shouldn't have attacked this dude, because now these are the only guys... Whoa! Holy balls! One. Two. Pistols. Don't have anything. You should just join my team. You're not capable of dumb labor. That's not really helpful, because I really need people who can clean and haul and plant cut. At least I'll have pistols. I have a freaking rockets and crap. That's good at growing and researching medicine. Ishi, but it capable of scary. I don't remember what that means? Firefighting. I'll just take what we can get. Other than these people that can't do dumb labor, that's like. Super unhelpful. I didn't read if they were going to attack immediately or in a bit. Fortunately, I think they're going to hit this building. Usually they just go to it and bash on it for just a tiny bit and then they move on. Yeah, I'm starting to get to that point where I need to uh, need to get moved in so that we have a freaking proper shooting gallery down here. This one works, but not exactly ideal. Fortunately, I didn't upgrade those guns yet. So.
Quickly, I think everyone finished their cleaning and stuff. Well, maybe not. They're out there cleaning again. It's kind of not good. really want them cleaning that much of it up, just like that. Everyone's about to be idle, but since we're about to be in a firefight, matter. Come on and attack me, fools. Okay, there they go. And at the same time, everyone's going over here for some reason. Oh, let's get to... I'm going to turn the home region thing off, actually. thought it would be useful, but it's... Dumb things. Everyone drafts. Get in here. Gun turrets, power up. Doctor's Town. Which Doctor's Town is actually friendly with us, so I don't think I'm going to kidnap her. We've learned our lesson. Uh, They're already on us. Who got shot? Martin's getting shot at. Doesn't really have a clean shot here. The rest of them are fleeing. Alright, we won. And like I said, they attacked the stupid building, which is not good. From draft, no. Which one of these guys is... We only have... Well, I can turn more rooms into... Prison rooms. Character is incapable of dumb labor. I don't think I'm with this guy, then. I don't want him. Oliver. He's not incapable, so. He's not very good at very much, though, I gotta say. He can grow, he can research, and he can medicine. For hauling and cleaning, though, you don't have to have skills, so. He's an option. 66 as well. And he could be our doctor to have body armor. We want people with body armor to die as well, so we can take it. Yeah, we don't want this dude. Wonder if we should try to chase down Mitchie and kill him. It's a cowboy hat. <laughs> Gun him down. You take Oliver into custody. Don't shoot our allies. Go after him. Not what I meant when I said go after him. Get him. Oh crap, we're gonna lose the generator because I can't get in there. Damn it. I knew that would frickin' happen.
I have to deconstruct this to try to get into that. To Oliver. I'm not going to give him medicine because it may run out at some point. He'll get other stuff though. You're going to fire at Mitchie. Everyone else can just uh, out the fires. Uh, it was too late. It's done. I really don't like how fire works in this game. Is there a way I can tell it to... I gotta tear down that roof there. Before it falls down on top. And... CEO. I might actually have to have her drafted in order to be able to do stuff. I'm gonna strip these other guys while they're dying. Kind of pure evil, but sure wish I could fix that generator. Once it gets internal, you can't do anything. That's why I really don't like this. How it works like that. Maybe if I can. Maybe if I deconstruct it, it will not collapse on top of people. I think it blew up instead of getting deconstructed. Okay. So, kind of sucks. But we're out of time for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.